So another gaming headset has just arrived. Here we have it, the JQ J100 Pro. So why did I pick this one? It's budget friendly, which is only $50 on Amazon right now. And it's the Amazon choice item. It features a lot of good stuff, such as a speaker driver, a soft leather AirPods, customized fit, lightweight and graceful, a detachable microphone with noise cancellation, and also the 7.1 surround sound card. Now that's a lot offered by a $50 gaming headset. Inside the box, we have the detachable mic, which is really flexible for us to adjust the mic position. And it actually stays at the position too. Also, we have a windscreen, which is really nice to eliminate the pop noise. Then we have a USB connection cable with the control panel. And we can adjust the value for the audio output and also the audio input, which is the microphone. Also, there's the button for the 7.1 surround sound. On the side is the switch to mute and unmute the mic. At the back, here's a clip for easy positioning. All the indicators on the panel can be light up once we plug it into the PC. So it's very easy to find the buttons in the dark. Next, we have the user menu for the setup and warranty information. Then we have a travel bag to protect the headset from scratches while traveling. Then we have the headset. Some parts are wrapped with plastic film for shaping. Once we got them removed, it actually looks pretty nice and decent. The frame is made of aluminum, which is really durable for long-term usage. Well, it's not that heavy. The headset is only 300 grams, which I think is a really good weight for a headset. The headband is covered by the leatherite, which also offers the durability and comfort at the same time. The AirPods are made of plastic and covered by the rubber material that looks and feels very luxurious. The AirPods are memory foam covered by the leathery too, which is really soft. Both inside the AirPods have the indicator if it's hard to decide which one is which. The headset can be extended to fit most heads and also the AirPods can adjust themselves to fit the shape of your head. And if you have a bigger head, the headband is really flexible and it is not tight, which is really good. Otherwise, you may feel like your head is being smashed. The audio quality of this headset is not that bad either. I tested it with a lot of audio demos on YouTube and I can easily hear the surround sounds with the headset. And also I can pick up all the little details in the demo videos, such as the rain or the leaves falling in the wind. I also listened to a few music as well and tested the 7.1 option that this headset offers. I personally like the default settings, which is without the 7.1. Cause I feel like when I turn on the 7.1, the sound is a little bit muffled. It's not that clear anymore. Maybe because this is a gaming headset. So I tested it with different games too. In CSGO, both option works. With the 7.1, I was able to hear more stuff around me. However, I feel like too much that actually affect the sounds of footsteps. With the 7.1 off, which is really clear. I can be able to track down the opponents easily. When playing strategy games such as League of Legends or some other single player games, the 7.1 on, which is really nice. The microphone is cardioid. Also, it is noise cancellation built in according to the features. And this is how it actually sounds like. So now we are on the detachable microphone and this is how it actually sounds like. I have all the filters off in the OBS. So everything that you hear right now is the raw audio that's got input by this microphone. I have to say that this mic on this headset is definitely better than the $200 headset mic. After hours of testing and playing on this headphone, I will recommend it to anyone who is looking for a budget gaming headset, which has an average quality on the audio output and above average on the microphone. I didn't feel much burden on my head nor my ear after a long hour of usage. The only complaint that I have is the super long cable. Other than that, leave the comment below of what you think about this headset and also what you like to see in the future videos. And thank you for watching. As always, please be safe out there and I'll see you in the next videos. Peace out.